It's a new week, people, which uh, which is always fun. The 50k happened uh, far faster than I thought it was going to happen, guys. Uh, I was kind of thinking I'd uh, start a new week, and be like, hey. Uh, we just touched 50k. We will smash past it, everybody, like crazy fast. Well done, folks. Um, big surprise. Uh, I had a look at it a little while ago. 50.3. How's about that? Now, I've had this sort of long-standing theory that YouTube has a bit of a how to describe it trust algorithm. In other words, most accounts die before they ever reach thousand subscribers. Okay, so the problem we've got this morning, guys, police all over the place, is due to abandoned luggage. Some complete and utter moron has left all their luggage on the floor and buggered off. Literally, just some clown left it there and they're gone, yeah? I wonder if they forgot it. No one could be there. Ay, ay, ay. Not on a Monday morning, that's for sure. Let's see if somebody. I mean, you couldn't. One, yeah, but three? Ouch. Yeah, folks, uh, you just heard that. Unless somebody comes along and claims this luggage shortly, uh, the whole area is being locked down. Which, considering the guards are just arriving, is not an ideal situation at all. Look, lifeguards just coming in to take over this morning. And. Uh, suspect package at the front yikes really not a good situation at all I did wonder actually why the police were sort of on about it luckily the girl whose luggage it is has reappeared it's the thing she was about uh, 30 seconds away from getting in trouble naughty naughty should we have a look at that guilty face, everybody? Let's uh, let's tell her that her luggage almost got blown up. The police were just about to blow your luggage up. <laughs> yeah, you're, you're super lucky. Normally, when people leave it, they will either take it or they'll, uh, yeah. <laughs> ah, good lord. <laughs> I'm not sure actually the language. Wait, hold on a second. Not sure which country they're from, but oops. I'm <laughs> laughing about it now, but oh, good lord! Look, now it's a bit of a laugh, but a few minutes ago it wasn't. Uh, to be honest, I haven't seen the police that sort of anxious. But then again, as I said, the lifeguards were just arriving, so the fact that somebody had left a pile of luggage at the front as the changeover was just about to begin, yeah. Timing's a bit sus even, but there we are. I can't remember actually, folks, which uh, which horse we've got here. It's like a baby blues horse. Oh, <laughs> it's not Ormond. We know <laughs> we know that. I have no idea whether Ormond has been uh, relieved of duty. Um, I know it wasn't here yesterday, so I have no clue if he was a good boy or not, or whether in fact they even brought him out yesterday. I didn't see any footage of Ormond yesterday. My footage that I posted yesterday was part two from Saturday. And you saw on Saturday, he was a very naughty boy. In a good, in, I mean, in the best possible way, uh, in terms of taking care of tourists. But this horse, in fact, looks very small, very cute, petite horse. Which one is it? Hold on. What do you mean petite? I'm not, I'm not petite. I'm just not as old as the others. Doesn't like tourists though, which is a good start. Ormond, Ormond Junior. It's got the same kind of viper-esque look as Ormond on the face. Wait, let me see if I can figure out which horse it is, guys. One second. It doesn't instinctively look familiar to me. Let's see. <laughs> Okay, that's an interesting number actually. Let's have a quick peek at the uh, the list. Hopefully it's going to be on it. Ah, 
But of course. Yeah. Yep. It's a lyric, everybody. <laughs> she just looked at the camera the second I said it. Sorry? London City Walks. Yeah, that's that's uh, I'm that's a subscriber from Toronto. You're a subscriber from Toronto? I came here because of you. No, you didn't. You know, you're gonna make me blush. You oh. came here because of me? The way you're very kind and thoughtful. Yes, no, that's why we're here now because we watch your videos. So you know how not to get shouted at. Am I right? What's that? You know how not to get shouted at. Because yes. you're we were jumping out of the way on Friday already. <laughs> Three or four minutes ago at the front here, uh, some ladies got in trouble because the officers were running around trying to locate the owners of some luggage yes. that had been left here, just as the new guards arrived in. The look on their faces when uh, when they turned up and the officers said, you can't be leaving your luggage here. Always, at the beginning of the week, somebody makes a mistake here. Yesterday, we were at uh, the Tower of London, okay. and they did a, um, what do you call that? Remember, they check, checking the guys, you know, what is that called? Yeah. Anyways, and this woman went and stood in front of them. Some people really don't understand what simple manners, do they? No. To be honest. No. Um, I think what's happened with the shouting is that a lot of them don't mind. A lot of them used to really enjoy shouting and making tourists yes. jump out of their skin. Yeah. But the problem is, because it's become such a sensation, a lot of them are now not liking the public attention they're getting. For example, the guards that were shouting more were seeing themselves across social media all over the place. Yes. As you know, the shouty guard or this guard or that guard. So oh, they've, yeah. just, they've, yes. they've stopped it. And I can't say I blame them, to be honest. Yesterday at the Tower of London, there was a lot of shouting. So yeah, I can imagine Sunday's are pretty hectic at the Tower of London. Yeah, yeah, it was beautiful though. Sunshine? Was it sunny yesterday? Yes, yes. Yeah. Since we've come, it hasn't on us yet. Lucky, this time last week it was horrid. And you, the, yeah. I mean, how, how long have you got? How, how much longer do you have here? Uh, we have a week. Ah, you've chosen a good week actually. It's supposed to be, between now and next weekend, it's supposed to be dry. Yeah. So hopefully it will be for, for both of them. hit Portobello Road again. Yeah? Yes. What else have you got on your list of to-dos? To-dos, well, the British Museum. It's supposed to rain on Wednesday, British Museum. Other than that, where's a good place? This is, I brought this, this is from a, a Canadian government people. Oh wow, that is super cute. It's so cute. I know. <laughs> Look They're at no that. They're no bigger than that. They give them out on Canada Day. Wait, I'm going to put that right in the bottom of my pocket so that I don't <laughs> lose so it. This is so thrilling. Wait till I tell my sisters. They all, well, my whole, everybody knows I come here to see you and the horses. Before they leave, the blues are about to head out in probably about three minutes. Do you ladies yes. want to get either side of the horse to be in today's video? That way you oh, see yourselves yes, in the yes. video as a memento of Do being they here. Go back? They will be, yeah. Shortly the new lifeguard horses will come out and these two blues horses will leave. So this will be your last opportunity to be with a blues horse until Wednesday. So if you want to go forward, go. yeah, be on camera. Be on camera. <laughs> <laughs> Canad Canadians on camera. So you said it won't be here from after Wednesday? Sorry? Did you say it's not going to be here from Wednesday? Uh, the, 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 this regiment wearing the, the navy yeah. tunics, they won't be back until Wednesday. They're about to leave. Oh, right, yeah. Right. You, you get your photo, then I'll go. Thank you. Oops. <laughs> Lyrics not playing nice. <laughs> oh, this is a mare. This horse is a mare. So she's a, she's a little bit, yeah, a little bit unhappy this morning for whatever reason. She was happier on Friday. I saw her Friday too. She's so beautiful. But this horse here, I think incredible. I haven't even actually had the time to look and see which one that is yet. Really dark one. Yeah. Classic cage cover black. I'm interested to see which horses the lifeguards brought with them. Uh, they just came in, so they'll come out any minute. The thing is, what happens is, um, the troop that pulls the weekend shift, the yes. horses are here from Friday morning to Monday morning, so it's 72 hours. Yes. So it's understandable they get a little bit tired, a little bit nippy, a little bit kind of, you know, uh, tired of, of the tourists, you know, of being touched and mauled. So The guards too, I just can't imagine. Here's what I'm going to say about London that I've noticed. Okay. People are so nice and polite, considering the fact that there's millions of tourists here every yeah. year. It's and extraordinary. everybody is so nice. Oh. There was an article I was reading this morning that yesterday, apparently, uh, London's population went back over, officially back over 10 million. Oh. Oopsie. Notice, in fact, the horse that came out even didn't want to come out. Ooh. 
Okay. Well, there's a really grudgy house, of course, coming in. I was not oh, expecting this one uh, to kick off that quickly, actually. No, you should have seen her on Friday. She They're not in a good mood inside. Look, no, this horse doesn't want to work at all. No, one of the blues horses kicked the other blues horse, too. It's funny because you know people often comment on, on my videos, oh, you know, horses are this, horses are that. They should be allowed to, you know, run around in pastures, um, as they did, you know, whatever, hundred years ago. Yes. These are supremely well looked after. I mean, you can tell, can't you, immediately the second you look at the coat and you see how absolutely pristine the horse is. So you were saying they shave the coat? Apparently, the horses are clipped when they come down from Melton. They come down after two or three months running around outside, uh -huh. all sort of messy. The mane, everything is all straggly. And they, so they sort of clip the horse down, let it regrow going into the into the spring and then into the summer. Oh, I see. Okay, yeah. I, I never knew. I mean, I don't know. I, I didn't know about it either. I'm not a horse person, so you know, I learned a hell of a lot from my own channel, which, to be honest, <laughs> is the best part. Yeah, your channel's the best. Should we see if we can uh, spot the name of this horse? Let's have a look. Oh, this, this one, in fact, we've seen this one before. I recognise the mouth markings, but yes. I don't remember the name. One second, let me get the number. Guys, this is a horse that did not want to work at all uh, a little while ago. Let's see which one it is. Okay, right, got the number. Let's have a look on the list. Lifeguard horse number. Oh. Okay, this is, wow, wow. Actually, this is a horse that was here last week that was not identified. However, oh. uh, I updated the list since then, and now for the first time ever, ladies and gents, I can reveal that the horse is Verbius. Verbius? Yeah, I've, I've never uttered that word in my life, so I know this is <laughs> the first time that we've ever ID'd this horse. Yep, Verbius. Wow. Uh, according to my list, Verbius is a gelding, people, which is surprising, actually, because I would have thought this horse was a mare. Uh, I'll inspect the undercarriage shortly. Yeah. I better leave you to do your thing. What's your name? Oh, Margaret. Marg. Marg. It was really nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. It was meeting a pleasure. You too. Thank you for yes. coming along and saying hello. Oh, it's I'm very just, kind of you, I'm honestly. I'm thrilled. This is, I was to see the changeover and to see you. Wait, so are people, this, you say about people being super polite here in London. Are they not that polite in most major cities in Canada? No, in other cities in the world. There's yeah. a lot of tourists. You go to Greece? Oh my goodness. Or Paris. Paris, where, where everyone is, is really not very polite at all. No, no but London has always been my favourite city and now I'll see for good reason. Yeah, I'm glad, I'm glad that you enjoy it still because a lot of people do say they've had a bad experience or they really? you know, they were mugged or some, there's always something. Yes, yes. Uh, but yeah, ladies, really watch your, your stuff because there are so many pickpockets. Yes. in the center that's the only thing i would uh, caution you know, be wary the of the thing is that we're just so laid back here like we feel at home yeah, yeah. it's just great yeah canada's on my list one day i'll make it yes 100%. yes you should it's lovely there really okay thank you so much no it's my pleasure uh, yes. have a an amazing trip the rest of it and hopefully yes. uh, you'll see everything oh, that you want so. to see while you're here we're always walking around doing so much fun. You, you suggested too that we should walk around looking downtown. To be honest, the best thing is just a stroll around. There's so much to see, you know, and it's always uh, when you're not expecting something to happen that it does, whether it's good or bad, there's always a surprise or something out of the ordinary, you know. That's the best thing about this city. Mm -hmm. Yes, I know every, around every corner there's an adventure. That's Massively, so, of, uh, yeah. London. Yeah. Well, so, thank you for talking to no, me. No, no, hey, come on, it's my pleasure um, and enjoy. Thank you. <laughs> See you. Okay, ladies and gents. Well, thank you, ladies. It was so nice to, to talk to you. So many of you have mentioned before, hey, how are Canadians in London? I can tell you, folks, Canadians in London, amazing. That's how Canadians in London are. We just met some of the loveliest people we've ever encountered here on the channel uh, visiting from Canada. Canadians, be proud. And very kindly, let me take it out of my pocket. One second. I put it right in the bottom of my zip pocket so that I do not, under any circumstances, lose it. Look at this, a gift. Look at that everybody, look. Oh, I'm not sure if it's picking up clearly. Oh, hold on, what's happened here? In fact, somebody just... Oh, he's been told to move here. <laughs> Sorry, <laughs> he left his bike there. <laughs> hey, morning. <laughs> what's happening today? <laughs> he just got, I think it's a Dutch guy. He just got, uh, obviously just, oh, please are laughing. Obviously just ran out. <laughs> told him to get your bike. <laughs> <laughs>
Yeah. Well, the one with it, the luggage. Yeah. <laughs> he could have got it. He just ran away like <laughs> he didn't have the luggage. And then it, he noticed that where's my luggage? <laughs> no, but to be honest, I think some people get here and they're kind of like, whoa, when they see the horses come out, they get yeah. completely distracted. Yeah. Boom, forget about the luggage entirely. And like this yeah. guy's with, with the bike just happened. now. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, brilliant. You notice that the police are letting people make mistakes now? They're basically just like, if you're that stupid, yeah. carry on with it. Yeah. Brilliant. Santander Cycle Station uh, has been opened, guys. This is the newest one in London. Uh, as Santander have rebranded their bicycles as a tribute to the lifeguards. Yeah, isn't that thoughtful? Exceedingly thoughtful. Uh, so. <laughs> yeah, we've actually noticed, I mean, it started to notice it at the weekend, but we've really noticed it since the... When there's utter stupidity on behalf of, uh, sorry. Oh, oh, that's a very good question. Uh, remarkably, the horse on this side, yeah. just found out this morning, first time I've ever seen it, a new one called Verbius. This is Verbius. That one I haven't even looked at. I'm about to have a look. Yeah, yeah, they've been shaved. I think they've got a couple of new ones here that have been uh, clips, as they call it, ready for the spring. Uh, but this one I'm going to have a look right now. <laughs> you watch my video. I do. I do. I do. <laughs> You're the second person to tell me that this morning. I'm starting. I'm going to start to blush, honestly. <laughs> where? where? <laughs> <laughs> That's why I wear sunglasses because otherwise I, I blush way too much, it's honestly. Still, it's still for projects to do. Oh, I mean to be honest, kind of. But at the moment, I've got so many other things that are on the list, uh, including uh, which I'm going to sort of announce right. later. So yeah, a few more kind of exclusives coming up. Yeah. Oh really? Hey, well, I mean... But I don't want to say it. No, no, don't say it, but yeah. e email it to me. E my email address is on the YouTube channel. Or, or message me on Instagram. I don't have Instagram. I don't do social, social media at all. Uh, so what's, how can you contact me, though? What's the easiest way? I don't know. How long till how long are you here for? Mm, this morning, probably another hour, an hour and a half, something like that. I would think. And when we are Wednesday here on Wednesday? Yes. So yeah. Light, yeah. I'm hoping, hoping for a long night. Okay, yeah, in fact, it's highly likely there'll be a long guard on Wednesday. Yeah, I think so. Because okay. the king is here for his treatment on the Tuesday. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Wednesday is probably woods. Oh my goodness me, wow, look at this. Attack of the minions. <laughs> that's, a, that's a lot of minions in one go. Good lord. Wednesday, let, let's try and figure something out on Wednesday. The worst way I can um, write down the email address and, and hand it to you. I need to start wait. doing that. Is that a better thing to do? Wait, wait. Or do you want to type it down? That might be easier. Yeah. You've got a better idea. Oh, you've got a business card. Uh -huh. There's a big word, but I have something like it. There you are. Ah, you're Dutch. I, am. I would not have even guessed. You don't, you don't have a classic Dutch accent. Have you, have, you lived, have you lived here for a long time? I don't live here at all. What? You really don't sound Dutch to me. I would not have guessed it at all. Well, thank you for the compliment, but uh, yeah, well, my late partner was Scottish. Ah, okay. That so, that explains it. That explains it. With the dog, you get fleas, don't you? <laughs> oh, so, controversial! Wow. Oh, well, that's what they say, isn't it? So, yep. uh, well, we were together for twenty years, and uh, first he lived in um, Castledon, the near East Midlands Airport, uh -huh. and then he moved back to Scotland. So yep. me being very dutiful, I followed commuting up to the house. Oh, good lord! So yeah, that's a lot of running around, isn't it? You do that for twenty years, so then you get a bit that. Of ex that accent. explains the accent. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Well, such lovely people this morning. Canadians. Lady from Holland. Incredible. No, I didn't uh, didn't sense a Dutch accent at all, in fact. Uh, but then she mentioned uh, over 20 years, but she did say, classic, she said, if you sleep with a dog, you can expect to catch fleas. Even the horses don't be hers. You're right. <laughs> Look, this little dude is like, what, what's that noise the horse just made? In fact, most kids would have run away. They would have been like, oh, scared of the horse. He was super curious. He's like, what's that? Now, annoyingly, folks, it, it, oh, hold on a second. This is the guy that got in trouble for leaving his bike. Wait, I wonder where he put his bike this time. Oh, my God, look how close he is. God, please tell him to get back. Come on, it'll be a classic. Wait, hold on a second. He's a contortionist. Look how he's bending himself backwards. Look. That's impressive, in fact. <laughs> oh my god, what is he doing? Honestly, the guard's gonna lose his temper in a minute.
That was just bizarre. Way too close. I mean, who actually wants a, a, a selfie with a horse? I mean, that close? Not good. Okay, she's trying desperately hard to smile. Uh, problem is, she's thinking about her husband, uh, hence the uh, completely blank face. Yeah, that's unfortunate. And Verbius looks so lovely and friendly, look. And curious as well. I've got more minions are arriving. We've still got the other half of the life gods to come in, by the way. I've completely uh, lost whether or not the uh, the blues have finished and left. Apologies. He always back at this end now, contortioning himself around the other horse. somebody to take a picture. Brave and trusting because the person that has her phone could run away with it knowing that she can't chase because she's got a kid. People are so, so trusting in central London. Notice actually, guys, that this horse has a particularly fluffy mouth, like lots and lots of whiskers. I wonder if this horse is, uh, is sponsored by a certain cat food brand. Look, I haven't seen that many whiskers since uh, Santa Claus fell down my chimney uh, at Christmas of uh, '87. Well, uh, well, I do this horse in a minute. It's got a very gentle face, actually, this horse, really. He says he bites the girl's fingers off. Be sponsored by Dulux guys. There's, uh, there's a lot of white all over the place. Spotting some blues horses. Clopping out in a big group, look at this. Cloppy clop clop. I couldn't quite hear it. The tour guide saying there are two types of guards. There are the horse guards and there are the... I didn't hear what he said as the second one. Uh, hello? What do you mean there were the horse guards? I actually haven't heard that term uttered by the guards themselves. Is there such a thing as a horse guard? Horse guards is the, uh, the location that the guards are guarding. They're not horse guards. Curious. Okay, so the lifeguards, the rest of the lifeguards are coming through shortly. I'm just wondering. I'd like to capture that, of course. Yeah, I think what we'll do 
everybody if the officers are conducive to the idea let's head over to the magic corner let me ask them is it okay to go to the corner yeah okay thank you okay boom yes I'm in the corner, everybody, the naughty corner. Oh! Ah. Oh, he just said no, so now I don't know. Ollie, Ollie just said no, so. Oh, nope, apparently uh, it's all over the place this morning. Some are saying yes, some are saying no, so yeah. I don't know. I think actually it might be because noticing they've got two here and then one at the front. I think they're one man down, one man short doesn't matter we'll still get a good view as they come through the uh, oh, as they come through the tunnel He's gonna be, I can't believe you allowed that youtuber peasant to go in the corner oh. <laughs> well done someone has been missing his dog that's a lifeguard dog Cute, very. Oops. Uh, on the subject of lifeguards, they'll be coming through, folks, any minute. I've just seen the blues leaving. Next up, lifeguards through, and then we will ID the other horse at the front. Oh, incidentally, that um, <clears throat> Monty Shearer question, uh, I didn't actually have time to look through and compare the pictures that I took of the hoofs with, uh, with the video when I mentioned that it was Shira. However, uh, so many of you ladies who I know are invariably right have mentioned that, hold on, John, you've got your wires crossed, it's Monty. Uh, I'm not even going to bother to check why, because uh, I know that some of you are super eagle-eyed, so uh, yeah, I probably got it wrong. So it probably is Monty. Oh, it, it is Monty, I'm happy to admit, uh, if I got it wrong. That's the best thing about the channel, to be honest, though, isn't it, guys? Even when I uh, screw it up by getting distracted, uh, and getting a horse wrong, a well-known one. Uh, you guys correct me. Now, inst interesting, look, they're actually going to be told to move out of the way. <laughs> Oops. That's the first time we've ever seen a serving trooper uh, being told to shift. The King's lifeguard. Oh, God, here he is again with his bike. Hold on. Flipping out. What is it with Dutch people and bikes? Anyway, here they come. Actually, this is a better spot than the corner, to be fair, this morning. Good light. One. Two. Three. Oh, good morning, horsey. Four. Five. Oh, we've got a bit of a log jam here. Oh, oh, good lord. Hold on a second. This one's not having it. He almost tried to throw the rider then. Didn't quite catch that. The horse reared. And uh, I'm not sure if it's Lance Corporal of Horse or a Corporal of Horse at the rear, but I haven't seen him before. Luckily, the dog was quiet, folks. Okay, so all of the police this morning were at the other end. Uh, okay, that might well explain why the yard was uh, was off bounds in some respects. Uh oh, hold on a second. We've got a lot of people coming out now. This is going to be interesting. gent that he is he uh, he wove around them instead of plowing through them whether that continues I guess we'll see back in okay right so the unknown beauty at this end let's uh, see if we can figure it out before it gets really busy here everyone's flooding out the gates now let's have a look I don't recognise this horse actually. Those whiskers are very distinctive, but no, nope, not sure which horse it is. The uh, the guard has pulled the other horse in at the other end into the box. Not a happy horse that one. All right, let's see. I said Verbius, didn't I? The other horse. There's a very good chance that this one is also new, especially if it's from the same troop. Let's have a quick peek.
Okay, luckily the hoof number is pretty clear. Ah! Silly me. Guys, those big, big fluffy feet, we should have, I should have immediately have noticed that. Should have straight away said it's blah blah. It is, guys, I knew what you're thinking, and you're right, it's Radford. Yeah. Another good example of uh, not even needing a list. Look at the horse's face and look at its feet. I think it's because I was focusing on the whiskers so much, but it's definitely Radford, 100%. Okay. Yeah, so right, let's see what happens with the tourists. Or oh, some of them should be called snorists. Mind the gap. as well people anyone coming to London soon or in London now it is much warmer uh, do you see people wearing bubble hats nope I myself have even lost the fleece I'm down to three layers now instead of four and for the first time in ages I'm not wearing uh, mittens and it feels good I forgot how easy it is to maneuver here uh, and just to enjoy being outside when you haven't got a flipping zillion clothes on uh, temperature is about 15 16 degrees which is Pretty good, actually, for this time of the year, especially the sun isn't shining. This time next month, we're going to start seeing people in t-shirts, hopefully in these holidays. I'd go as far as to say this might well be the warmest day of the year thus far. Radford's normally a big softy. Unusual for him to see, uh, unusual to see him, sorry, pushing someone out of the way. Oh, that is the guard look behind him. He thought they were going, so did I. I thought they were going to walk through the box. I honestly thought he was going to drag his kid through the box then. Lucky. Ta da! That's what we're dealing with at the moment, people, which isn't bad actually, considering it's still super early. Oh, who's that scoundrel in the middle of the photograph? Posing as a photographer. I personally think that uh, luggage should be banned from the yard. If we see a lot of people like that in the summer bring here, then it's going to be completely ridiculous. There won't be enough space for people to move. There's so much luggage going through the gates today, I'm not sure why. We had our sort of dream ban this guys and um, we had a magic wand here what would we ban uh, loudspeakers for tour guides luggage what else bikes i think to be honest there's no logical reason why a bike should be allowed into the yard in other words if people need to get through to Paul's guards parade go to trafalgar square or go to king charles street there are multiple ways to get from whitehall uh, to buckingham palace is my point however which is my opinion and who am i no one Anyone think of anything else we should add to the ban list? <laughs> Be polite, people. I know what you're thinking. Oh, wait, who's that? Oh, I think she works in the shop. It's a new shop worker. New group of, uh, of happy students posing for pictures. I'm 
just thinking as well, folks, as they've got a changeover happening at, wait, what time is it now? 11.36. I think, yeah, I think we'll likely head to a two-parter. Let's see. Massive group of students, in fact, if they start to come over and get in the guard's face, that will not end the well. Look, and I'm pretty sure it's their Khinchis. Their Khinchi students. Oh, they are definitely teachers. Uh, uh oh, hold on a second, hold on a second. Jump on the train. It's going to be really unfortunate, guys, if I need to start to break out a little bit of French here. Look at this, a teacher, a brilliant top teacher there, just told them to shut the hub. Well done, teacher. That's really good to see. That's like really good to see. You see, they thought they were going to get all clowny and stupid with their little uh, gang signs. That's why I turned around. The teacher comes straight over, she's like, hopefully, guys, one of you can translate exactly what the teacher said. I think she said, either keep it down or be respectful okay so she's off wait she's, she's taking them away she's like boys get out of here she's actually evicting them herself from from the yard it's like a self-eviction process goodbye bashful frenchies au revoir and now the girl's left in peace the reason that could have been interesting is that as we came over I noticed that the chain hasn't been put back up yet, okay? The chain should be up because everything's finished here, they're done. So I'm not sure, I think it's just been forgotten. I didn't even notice actually whether both the boards are up at the front, but yeah, the chains, both the chains. The chain should have been in front of the guard straight away, but they've obviously overlooked it. Uh, and ditto, there are no more horses coming in or out. So that would have been real interesting, actually. Kudos to that teacher, guys. Frenchy teachers are the best. I mean, I hope they are. Guess we're going to find out in a minute. Oh, hear that. Kids are saying what's beef, which is like a, a, a mildly derogatory term for English people. Do you hear that, guys? You just give me what's beef? I'm not sure if you meant that to the guard or, or other people or English people in general. See, I call the Frenchies, they call us wasp beefs. Fair is fair. Great to see the uh, the teacher though being so firm. Hey, hey, all good, all good. Oh, hold on. In fact, they've got a lot of teachers with the group, which is a good thing to see, to be fair, look. <laughs> Oh, please, Fringes, don't go into the archway. Uh-oh. In fact, they've got two male teachers and two female teachers. It's a big, it's a big group. And I think we can all agree, guys, that after we saw the video with the big French group getting tossed out of the yard, when was that? Six weeks ago? Two months ago? Ish, give or take. A lot of you remember that video. It was a very, very famous video, and a lot of French people were very upset. I got a lot of complaints to YouTube from the parents of some of the kids because they were super embarrassed that their kids had looked so stupid by being told by the police to get out of the yard. I don't think we're going to get quite that bad this morning because the teachers are being that helmet looks too big for her. I had not noticed actually. Oh here we go again. Here we go again. Look. Absolute morons. Look. Let's do it again. Hold on everybody. One second. Wait, where's the teacher? One second. Where's their teacher? Where's the teacher? One second. Sorry, uh, partly on there. Uh, Are they your students? Yes, they they're are. being very disrespectful. They're going to get thrown out. They have your whole group thrown out. Okay, sorry. Absolute morons. Better tell the teacher and the police because this bunch of idiots here are being super disrespectful. And here comes the teacher to tell them that they're being idiots. 
It's a new guard, in fact. There we go. Bashful. Bye bye. Bye. Next up, guys, would have been the police, and they would have thrown the whole group out. So it's better that the teacher dealt with it. Good job, teacher. For the second time. Absolute, complete, and utter idiots, no? I should. I was very tempted to tell the police instead, but I thought the other group of being well, it's not fair they all get binned, is it really? But then again, why do they forget to put the train up? Yeah, I know. That's yeah, half yeah, the problem, isn't it? Because they don't quite know how close they can get. I think he's just having a cross, isn't it? Because they should be putting the train up, and they should have shut the gates by now. Yeah, I don't know what's happening this morning. It's all a little bit ad hoc. Can you see what I mean about uh, the helmet? Look at the helmets. Can't see her face. It's too yep. big. I've never seen that. I've seen that trooper before. A new one, though. I think or not. Yeah, she's new. Because you see, she had trouble trying to yeah. straight and uh, move her arms. She's new. It's the teacher again. Get rid of the other group. This group on this side, guys, have been really good. This is why I didn't want to go and uh, have the whole lot of them tossed out. Because we've seen these days that once the police get a sort of a heads up, regardless of what type of group it is, anyone that's being mildly disrespectful, they've been the whole group now. They're like, out, all of you, get lost. It's not just one or two, the whole group, including the teachers. And personally, I think that's brilliant. I really do think that's, I think that's the way it should be. Why? Because that way, it quickly spreads around the group that hey blah 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 was stupid they got us thrown out the videos get very popular just like the slovenian video and then what happens next boom people generally start to behave for a while but it never lasts we get another group of very naughty people rinse and repeat Fergus is not a happy horse today look i don't know why really not in a good mood at all C'est bizarre. Anyway, the Frenchy group are now getting lost. Hopefully heading back to uh, Normandy or whatever. We can disrespect the French guards instead. Oh wait, they haven't got any. Okay, so here we are, back at the hunt with Redford. The second I heard the word horse beef guys drop, I knew it was going to uh, go wrong pretty quick. And uh, it did, didn't it? What a surprise. Yep. They were super. You see that in the corner? They were like really out of order. And the teacher basically got the whole group and like, get out. Idiots. The problem over in that corner is that it's a new guard. Plus somebody forget to put the chain up. Plus those stupid idiot kids were all pushing around. Trying to push each other onto the guard. It's deep in the end, that's where you're getting shot. Yeah. What a mess this morning. Wow. Anyway, the Frenchies have gone, everybody. They've been, uh, they've been forcibly repatriated to Dover uh, to catch the next ferry. Back to, uh, <laughs> oh, good lord. Back to wherever the ferry goes. Where does a ferry go from Dover, guys? Uh, where? That's <laughs> France. I forgot actually, where does it go? I've only ever been on it once, but I can't remember the port. When you take the ferry from Dover, where does it, uh, where does it, where, where do you disembark in France? Oh, hold on, the trooper's moving. Ta da Those naughty little Frenchies. We can't be having that, can we? Plus, we're not all horse beefs. Would have been so good if they were in the, in the centre laughing and so on, and then the trooper marched over and pushed them all out of the way. That would have been justice. Oh, everyone's getting out of the way now, look. Quickly moving. <laughs> He's really close though, look. It's another Frenchie group. It's a different one, but another Frenchie group. <laughs> oh, goodness me. The Frenchies, they don't get it. They're like, mais putain, why did we kill our royal family? We could be having this at home in Paris. And to be honest, you know, having watched um, the new Napoleon recently, uh, I can understand they're probably massively regretful uh, about that guillotine phase in their recent history. I can't say I would blame them for that. Ha, ha, ha.
Look, watch, they're all going to stand there with their phones now. He's going to walk past. It's ironic, isn't it, that uh, of all the nationalities, Frenchies are the most, or some of the most, fascinated by our royal guards. Je In fact, they're not fascinated, they're jealous, guys. They're jealous that they haven't got any royal guards. That's what it is. Gendarmes are wonderfully presented and all, but you know what? They're not royal. Okay, back to you, the front. Oh, it's nice and casual. Just like, yeah. Just lean myself against the wall. I'm not sure if she's advertising a streetwear brand or uh, getting pictures with the horse. Guys, Keanu Reeves is here at Horse Cards. Wow. Good to see him, actually. He's looking a bit old, actually, since uh, since John Wick, but hey, aren't we all? <laughs> oh, goodness me. Uh, that was the Chinese Mr. Bean, everybody. Just in case you haven't seen him before. Oh, bro. <laughs> okay, Verbius has cheered up a little bit. Come out of the box. We've only got 10 minutes and we'll see which, uh, which two new beauties are coming out. And that will determine whether or not we're going to see uh, part two. When we get to the summer, guys, I can see us setting up with uh, part two, cat, etc. Such a pity I wasn't filming in landscape 4K last summer when uh, the King's Troop were here, but this year I will be here ready for the month of June. I'll try to be here almost every day, I promise. Look, see, look, we've got our first tourist in a t shirt with short sleeves, guys, of the year. And you know what? It's absolutely fine. A little troop, lifeguard uh, tribute rock sacks. Bradford's even posing, look. One foot forward, ears forward. Oh, he's back. Briefly. Okay, back to Verbius. Who's only got nine minutes left. Oh, he said, he said, whoa, 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 welcome back, John. That's okay, don't worry, I can see you're a bit happier now. God, look, just when the whole, even the guards are like, oh, flipping, oh, here we go again. Oh, one second. Is that Pyro, guys? He's a very elegantly dressed fellow, isn't he? Look. Some of the characters that we get here. Come on, Torres, roll up. Don't be shy. You will not be on social media. Look. 
just noticed actually her jumper uh, matches the line bike. Hopefully, noticing that they don't want their fat heads in the camera. Some people just, you know, straight in, couldn't care less. I think I'll probably go inside everybody for the uh, for the changeover shortly in the corner. As far as I know, having counted through it, I've actually only now got. Wait for it. Four missing names of lifeguard horses. In other words, we're sort of 99.95% complete on the lifeguard list. So the chance of a horse coming out that we don't know is pretty much zero. Famous last one. Well, let's say, said that before, and then it happens. Unless they start bringing brand new ones that have just been freshly added to the regiment with new hoof numbers, we're uh, we're pretty much covered now. Loving the purple hair. Super. So that point I was making earlier, before I massively digress, right at the beginning of the video, um, I'm pretty sure that there's some kind of a trust algorithm. I noticed, for example, that most channels, apparently, statistically, having read about it yesterday, most YouTube channels die, never make it past a thousand subscribers. Okay? Uh, worldwide, doesn't matter the topic, whatever, the vast majority never make it past 1,000 subscribers. So it would be logical that YouTube have some sort of minor trust algorithm that if any channel makes it to 1,000 subscribers, they then start to push the videos out a little bit. I noticed that after 10,000, that seems to kind of up it somewhat. Now, you would think, hold on, if you have 1,000 or 10,000, you would logically have 10 times more people watching the videos. But no, the exponential growth was much higher than times 10 between 1 and 10,000. Between 10 and 50, not as much, because I don't think it's such a major milestone. But from 50, I noticed yesterday, looking at the stats, there was a ton of unexplained traffic. I did nothing yesterday except post one video. There were no other links, nothing happened. But there was a lot of traffic to the YouTube channel yesterday from, from God knows where. So yeah, I'm thinking that YouTube has this trust algorithm that at key numbers, i.e. 1,000, 10,000, 50, they push it harder. They push the videos out into the uh, For You recommended feed on people searching for related content. And I know, in fact, several people I know have 100K plus channels. The second that the channel is verified, uh, that white tick we were talking about, that makes a huge difference. Uh, I think that equals absolute full trust that the channel is of high quality, original, uh, and that the content is something that YouTube is happy uh, to push, as it were, to its advertisers. Wait, hold on. She just left the... Wait, what? Oh, she's out of the camera for her mum. I think she's got this little sort of toggle, the Bluetooth toggle in her hand that she can push to take a picture. I've never seen that here before. Pretty good idea, to be honest. Yeah, so that's my theory, guys. Uh, no one knows with absolute certainty, but I keep a lot of spreadsheets and crunch a lot of data vis-a-vis -vis how the channel's doing. And uh, yeah, it's doing well, everybody. Why is it doing well? Because of all of you, that's why. Sharing, liking, pushing, etc. The content, guys, makes YouTube push that out harder in its feed. Okay, let's hope the troop is finally going to put the chain up. Nope. Okay, back behind the lines, everybody. We're going to the magic corner. Now the line. Here we are. 
Yes. So yeah, folks, uh, I can shoot the content, but if nobody watches it or likes it, it's a complete waste of time. So it's due to all of you uh, that we made so much progress. So well done, everybody. That is something we'll be keeping a very good eye on shortly. Yep, the thermo kit. That tells them whether or not the horses need to be taken off if we get to X temperature. Oh, she seems rather enthusiastic. Oh, what's in there? Uh, Charles, is that, uh, is that where you're going to take me for lunch today? Uh, now that you've told me that the reservation at the Brit has been cancelled. Charles is like, I'm not taking you anywhere. You've just embarrassed us in front of all of these tourists. Trooper, I've just told you, peasants, get behind the flipping line, including you in the black and white. Look, it's like a sort of uh, speed dating event. In fact, I think they should hold speed dating events here for tourists, no? Look at them all. Ah, photographers asking if they've not got enough staff. I did mention that earlier, didn't I? They seemed a little bit lighter than usual here. That said, I've seen that before on a Monday. Monday blues. I'm trying, guys, not to get that uh, super sun in the frame. I think that's kind of the best spot, to be honest. Actually, we've never filmed it from here, have we? I'm at the other end of, uh, of the triangle. Let's see. How long have we got? About one and a half minutes, something like that. Very keen to see which two new horses we've got to come out in a, in a moment. So Verbius and Radford are done. Who's next? I have noticed, guys, that the sun is really trying hard to come out. I think we might end up with, uh, with a super bright lunch. If we do, I'll be here for it. Beautiful, beautiful light here. Look at that. That guy's in the middle, in fact, is uh, the Duke of Wellington's office. Yeah, still being used today. That's the Ukraine flag is still flying in the middle, look. the right side it's getting really busy on the other side in fact they're all the way back squished into the tunnel look good lord monsieur don't do it there we go bingy bong Okay, they'll come at this end, then I'll go to the box end. I think you echo the voice in the, uh, in the arches. Here are our next two beauties, guys, today. Way back to the box. This will be the first time I've stood right next to the edge of the box watching the horse go into it. Let's see. Boxman, to your boxes. Boxman, to your 
or posts. So do you think I would have learned by now? Could you? Okay, here, look, the beauty is going to come pretty much straight into the camera. I'm not going to move at all. I'm going to scare the horse. Boom. Who's first through the gate? Is it Radford or Verb? It's Radford. No, it's not. <laughs> Look at that. <laughs> Verbius just ran through at the last moment. Okay, Verbius in front, Radford behind. Into the stables for an oat brunch. Boom. Good stuff. Let's go and quickly ID the two new ones, everybody. Actually, wait, 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 wait. They haven't finished. Hold on a second. No, they haven't finished. Actually, I'm allowed to go across now. Everybody's moving. The troopers coming out of the archway, which is interesting with this many people. Look at this. And they are super lucky, those tourists. <laughs> Even now, folks, the chain is still down. Look, all this entire shift, the chain's been down. I wonder if I remember to put it up when the, when the new chitsman's been relieved. He's inspected each one of them to make sure they're all perfect before he'll actually let them go on to duty uh, to relieve the gatesman in the tunnel. Attention to detail is extraordinary. Day in, day out. where the new gatesman needs to be. Oopsie. Right, here he comes. Perfect. So, back to those two new horses, guys. Let's go and take a quick look uh, before I finish up. 
<laughs> no, no. <laughs> oh, good lord. Ah, very, yeah, he never shouts, he won't shout at them, no way. Okay, right, but guys, to the front, let's go and name those two beauties before everyone else runs out of the yard. Is that why you were saying that? Okay, let's go with this one first. I'm not sure what the joke is, guys, but then again, uh, I have no idea what she's talking about. Right, let's have a look at the. Uh, at the oh, gosh. Visually, I can't see it with my own eyes. It's one of those mushy heels. Hoofs, rather. Sorry, one second. Oh, yeah, we got it. Wait. Tempest, folks, listen. This this horse is Tempest. In fact, Tempest was here last week. Yeah, we saw Tempest recently. Other end. See who else we've got for uh, for I finish the video. Tempest and. I'm secretly hoping that Rada might be bad guys, but apparently not. Okay, let's have a quick look. Oh, we definitely put way too much uh, bronzer on this morning. <laughs> let's have a look at this one. It's a rare day actually when two horses have the same number uh, on their hoof. I don't mean identical, but I mean the same digit. So this one is... Oh, you don't like this ladies and gents. We've got another new one, another new arrival. And this one is Air Force inspired. Battle of Britain tribute horse, this one. Would you believe, ladies and gents, and this is 100% confirmed, this horse is called Spitfire. How's that for a name for a British war horse? Yeah, Spitfire. Brilliant. Tempest, other box. Spitfire, this box. I'm actually super glad that we've ID'd this horse because another first timer here. Never seen this horse before. Interesting markings on the sides. Folks, one second. What are the marks, guys? The questions. Okay. What would they be, potentially? We've seen this before on some of the other horses, but these are uh, very interestingly placed, these marks. Let me know, guys, in the comments, and I will hopefully back for part two sometimes I might mention a part two but then something might go wrong or somebody will talk to me or get distracted or the flipping phone runs out so occasionally when I say there'll be a part two there isn't however I always make that clear in the video description I'll always say part one of two part two of two so if under this video it says part one of two you know there'll be a second to follow if there's no part one of blah 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 then this is the only part for the day so there we are I cannot believe how quickly that hour and 10 minutes went by. There it is. Back soon, guys.